Swept Media. Get swept up in today's independent music. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Swept Up. I'm your host, Anthony Longhair Leclerc, and I'm here with my co host, the marvelous Marla the Mouse McCarty. What's up, guys? And our dear friend, Justin. Hey, how much do you charge for lessons, Bud Robinson? <laughs> <laughs> Today. <laughs> Sorry, that's a text message I got like two nights ago in the middle of the night. It's perfect. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Not from me, by the way. Um, <laughs> nope. No, I could use them. So, um, anyway, today is a fun day. I got a message um, this past week from a duo in Argentina who uh, just released their second full-length album. It is called Barking Dogs and Motor Cars. The band is Flying Carpets. They describe themselves as an Americana band from Argentina, which is Interesting. incredibly intriguing. Um, Justin was just going over the titles of the, uh, of the album. and mm-hmm. <laughs> I, think, I think someone got hurt here. And I don't know if it's Alejandro or Gonzalo, but one of the two of you boys got hurt. The song names Break My Heart. They do, I mean, they start off like, where my memories live, and take me to the place, and that sounds romantic, and then it takes a turn, do you really want to know how I feel, and a light that never comes, and hold me in your memory, she's already gone. By then, this is what I think it is, this is me guessing. And then, when my time comes down, well that doesn't sound positive, why can't I be like the wind? That's break, how, come on man, you got this, pick it up, and then, and then were you over mine? And I'm like, oh, he's so sad. And then, Marianne, someone's name, clear, that's... That's clearly a heavy subject. And then at the end, it sounds like he's taking a lot of blame with If I Ever Change and You Put It Clear. Oof. <clears throat> but maybe You Put It Clear is him saying, I hey, you know what? Fuck it, I'm better off. Yeah, you know, you make it perfectly I'm clear hoping for me. Like, mm-hmm. like she gave him the clear outlook and he's like, I'm out. Yeah. He's like, you know what? You know what? Dude, fuck you. Dude, yeah. fuck you. That or this is the most intimate financial planner relationship I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, wow, I don't know how to jump back in on that one. <laughs> Flying carpets from Argentina. <clears throat> yeah, it's kick-ass. Um, so, we're only reviewing, uh, as we typically do... Three tracks from this uh, eleven-track album. Uh, so, in the description, there will be links to their their YouTube channel and their site and all that stuff, so you can check that shit out. Um, I say shit with all the respect in the world. The music's actually really good. Um, and there will be a separate written review on the Leclerc Studios page under the swept up uh, heading. So, do check that out this weekend. Uh, Actually, it won't be this weekend by the time this episode comes out. It'll have been last weekend. So check this out in the past, um, today, in the future, uh, at present. (laughs) (laughs) So (laughs) The past, the present, the future, the here, the now. That's right. So, without further ado, on this dreary, rainy evening, uh, which you can probably hear uh, over the mic. Sorry. (laughs) I don't care. It works perfectly for the mood. Yeah, why am I apologizing for the weather? Here comes track number seven from Barking Dogs and Motor Cars, Why Can't I Be Like the Wind? through your door Are you ready to run? Cause if you want me to I would rush to you Was I ever the one? Why can't I be like the wind? Why can't I let it go? When something just don't feed Why can't I be like the wind? Why can't I let it They say the music is good 
to me, it sounds like it's not Cause I've been waiting so long for you to walk this floor Was I ever thought? Why can't I be like the wind? Why can't I let it blow? When something just don't feel Why can't I be like the wind? Why can't I let it blow? So I think we've collectively agreed that um, the Americana that Flying Carpets is playing is the original Americana, which is the British. For sure. Yeah. Um, because Very stones. Yeah. I think all of us dropped we, was, several British bands. Yeah. It was like very almost like early Beatles-y kind of that like early 60s sort of vibe yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where, the, where the surf drums were in. Yeah. Like yeah. It has a, a real like surf punk rock walking, kind of vibe yeah. to it. UK yeah. Punk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like yeah. it a lot. There's mm-hmm. definitely some of that Stones riff stuff in there. Mm-hmm. I was happily misled because of what I understand Americana to be. You know, yeah. us living directly on top of them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Us being America's hat and all. Yeah, so, <laughs> so obviously they have a different lens. I'm really, really happy that I was misled because this was cool and it's not what I was expecting. Yeah. yeah. I love that they do the sort of like Fleetwood Mac thing where they have a very upbeat song and then you listen to the lyrics and you're like, wow, that's kind of sad. That's like, right. It's like yeah. every Fleetwood Mac song ever. Yeah, so it's like you're adjusting about just like the uh, the interpretation of of the titles. Yeah. But as soon as the song kicked off, the look on your face was like, the fuck? Yeah, because like, yeah, oh, you were reading off the sprightly. titles and then the song started and I was like, oh, this is kind of upbeat. I can bob my head to this. Yeah. I and like then, it. I and dig then he it. was very happily just stating his complaints and I went, oh, it's still sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. It's still sad, but it's also happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I love that, that like classic surfer rock vibe to it with, uh, which, I, which I guess surfer rock can be considered more Americana uh, yeah, than, than, than any of the Beach other and that kind of parts thing, of it. Yeah. What's that? I said I guess with like the Beach Boys and that kind of thing. And that's oh, you know, okay. I wouldn't have yeah. thought of that. See, when I think Americana, I think of Springsteen. Yeah, well, I mean, he puts yeah. America in every title in every song, like somewhere. He, he like he's he's really proud of where he's from, right? Oh, yeah. So I think of guys like that, or like very patriotic sort of. Yeah, or very southern like, sounds. John yeah, Mellencamp, have... like yeah. 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 Typic- yeah. Typically, I think of the South when I think of Americana. Yeah, and then we ended up really just thinking like about this across was very the pond. California girls. Yeah, it was like yeah. California girls meets. The Stones meets uh, Sex Pistols meets was it, you said Rancid as yeah, well. The baseline, yeah, the bassline. The walking around is very very yeah. British yeah. punk. Yeah, I love how new wave British punk it feels with that like Cali surfer. Yeah, yeah, it's a really it. nice marriage between those two. The drummer carries that feel a lot, I mm-hmm. like. Because even when the guitarist kind of just is is maintaining true to the melody so that, you know, the guitarist and the singing's kind of married, the bassist is kind of walking around because he's got a lot of room if the guitars are stuck with the vocals. Yeah. And then the drummer just gets to pep it up. So it's yeah. like really happy on drums. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That, that drummer could probably, the, whoever's writing the songs probably have the saddest time and he could sit down and smile like, yeah, new song. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. that's a good gig. You just, just got to hope it's not the, the drummer who's the one who's written the song. No, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. Playing this up-tempo. Oh, I'm so sad. Uh, unless yeah. that's a sign of getting past it. Hey, well then. For you, yeah, right? There yeah. you go. Recovery. Yep. Um, and what is music for if not for a constant stream of therapy? Absolutely. Absolutely. Preach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah, oh, so that was... I loved it. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. Why Can't I Be Like the Wind. So uh, the second track we're going to listen to is uh, Hold Me in Your Memory, another uplifting title. Ooh, the fifth track. Uh, yeah, track number five, so we're right around the, uh, you know, the the eye of the storm, yep. as it were, in terms Sounds of the album. Over. Yeah, so here we go with uh, Hold Me in Your Memory. I'm writing you a melody so you can Hold me in your memory I hope that you remember me As a loving man Hold me in your memory I know love can never be A distant call Hold me in your memory A day feels like a century But I can't return Hold me in your memory Hold me in your memory. Um, yeah. That's... That was like, yeah, it's, it was very like chilled out, kind of like feel good sounding song. And even that... though, yeah, even though lyrically it's, it's still like, I guess, I, I mean, I was sort of listening to more of the vibe of this song over it, but like, I, I mean, I'm assuming lyrically it's a little bit sounding like the other one, but I love it. It's great. I'd be interested to know, knowing it's a duo, who's playing what instruments, because at the end, I kind of got fooled into thinking it was like a big band arrangement, right? There's mm-hmm. the harmonica happening, there's the organ happening, the little guitar comes in at the, at the end with the lick, there's already an acoustic guitar and the bass happening on top of the drums, yeah. and there's vocal harmonies, right? Yeah. So yeah, I wonder if they brought in musicians for that, and it was like a community feel, or if that's just the two guys, because either way, it's super cool. I'm just yeah. very curious. Well, now. let me tell you. Ooh, so, Gonzalo... Um, is the producer on the album. Okay. Uh, but he does guitars, bass, lap steel, and backing vocals. Ooh. And then Alejandro does, uh, they both do composition, so they're both writing the songs. Yeah. Ah. Um, and Alejandro does vocals, drums, and guitars as well. Oh, so the vocals is the drums. Yeah. Interesting. So- <laughs> Alejandro, how are you singing about sad stuff and playing so happy in that first track? <laughs> <laughs> no, 
I'm just go. I'm impressed and, and surprised. Yeah. Cool. And on two different uh, two different tracks, um, one of which is the next one that we will be listening to, um, there was a two separate keyboardists brought in. Gotcha. To play as well. But yeah, so here's where the the Americana kicks in for me. Yeah, that, absolutely. That yeah. little, yeah, the little guitar, guitar solo bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that really brought it home. And then we all dropped like 1960s through 70s uh, it, hits. We it were... just felt so very Neil Young to me, and I think that's great because I love Neil Young. So. Yeah, yeah. The so, only the only UK moment I had was there was that moment in the first verse where it's mostly just the guitar and he's establishing the whole main your memory tagline yeah. where it yeah. sounded like Oasis it reminded me of something they would do very like Liam Gallagher kind of stuff yeah. mm, and then yeah. it opened up into the band you know what I mean and I was like okay there it is when the organ came in I was like for sure yeah for and sure that's where you kicked in with the Simon and Garfunkel feels right yeah, yeah that's exactly. right and, and there's a certain point there towards the end uh, like I guess it was the last verse the way he was I don't want to say throwing away the lines, but the way that the inflection was at the end of lines made me think Paul Simon, Paul yeah. Simon, yeah, Paul Simon. Yeah, Paul Simon. And then when he went down instead, it made me think Tom Petty, Tom Petty. And, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's really interesting. So now now I'm hearing the influence from, now from American music. Yeah, definitely the Americana there. Yeah, that Eagles vibe you're saying with that guitar bit. Yeah, there. exactly. And uh, and then we'll, we're going to, I hope you guys don't mind... Um, Justin's decided we're going to cover this song, uh, but I'm going <laughs> to sing it like Neil Young. <laughs> so we're, we're going to have a kick-ass song that's going to be called Home in Your Memory. Perfect, <laughs> yep. Yes. But seriously, this is an awesome song. It's, it's great. I love it. I want to play this song like and drive down like a country road. Which is perfect because we're going on a road trip tomorrow. So There you go. I'm going to listen to this while I'm driving. This is like perfect cruising tunes. So thank I you very it. much. Thank yeah. you for road trip music. <laughs> um, so yeah, so now we're going to check out track two from uh, their latest album, which is called Take Me to the Place, uh, which features keyboard keyboards by Marco Benitez. I probably said that wrong. Uh, hopefully I've not. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I'll be told one way or another. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if I suck. Have you been told suck. today? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I took French in school, not Spanish, so I've got, I got nothing. I'm curious if it's going to go the same way. So we went from the seventh to the fifth track, and it's kind of getting, like, happier. Like, that was a much more positive track than the first. Yeah. So now that we're going to the second track, we're going to the, or track, we're going to the start of the album. I wonder what's going to happen. I, I could tell you, because I have listened to this track already. <gasps> it's a surprise. Don't tell me. But I'm not going to tell you. you. Don't tell me. All right. So here is Take Me to the Place. Take me to the place where I can heal Where I can stop the turning off the wheel Make me feel that I can't be replaced Don't say a thing And take me to the place To the place where I belong It's been a long time since I'm not at home It doesn't matter if I lose the race Don't say a word And take me to the place And we will on a sunny day And I will say the words that I couldn't say Among the gray Take me to the place where I can fly There's no need to take another try I don't care if I can't be through well And please don't cry And take me to the place
To the place. Well, that took me to a place. Yeah, that's lovely place. Took me to a few. That's yeah. a kick-ass song. That's um, great. Yeah, cleverly written. Um, yeah, it hits you. Sure does. Yeah, I really like that chord progression, and I'm really happy they showed it off in the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, it's interesting. And when you started, it was like, a, I'm interested to see if since it's getting sort of more upbeat as the yeah. as the album progresses what's it going to sound like at, off the top off the top it sounds very mellow yeah mm-hmm. it was cool it started off with like that imagined style of piano but, like the dun 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 yeah. you know yeah, what I mean like the accents like a, on the one soft on the two like almost like a hey jude kind of style thing yeah too. It was, it, yeah there was a lot of Beatles in that song there's a lot of Beatles in that song very Beatles cool. and like it's interesting there was like also like on top of the Beatles there was like individual parts where we were listening to the song and it was like oh yeah you can hear John Lennon there and there's George Harrison <laughs> and there's Paul McCartney and nobody knows where Ringo is. <laughs> he's just he's just keeping it simple. He's just keeping it simple. Yeah. 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 That's that's a wonderful song. Um, yeah, and again, uh, guest artist on the keys on that one. Um, Great playing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a it's a really somber way to end the episode. Um, <laughs> I just put the tracks in in the order that they were sent so I gotcha. like, I'll do it this way uh, I, I am now realizing a, that was probably not an intentional order of hey make sure you put them this way right because uh, the way we listened to them it was like we just had the sunshine after the rain we're like oh well, now what do we do with the rest of the day yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, <laughs> that's exactly yeah. what it feels like yeah exactly <laughs> yeah the rain also stopped outside yeah oh there, there you go, go. Mm-hmm. so how perfect is that mm-hmm. um yeah, so with with that being said, uh, Flying Carpets, everyone. Um, we'll have links in the description below. Uh, do check them out. Uh, download their whole album. It's it's a doozy. Uh, it's 11 tracks of kick-ass Americana meets, you know, new wave British punk stuff meets Cali surf rock. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all the best of that. Folk, blues, rock, punk, whatever. Yeah, I'll be listening to that on my car trip. <laughs> yeah, so I like that to make a cheesy analogy on the flying carpets name. It's a lot like the Disney Magic Carpet Ride from Aladdin, ah! where you see you see a lot of things that you already know, but it's nice to see them from that perspective. You know ah, what I mean? there it nice. is. And if that isn't a way to sign off, I don't know ah, what is. I got right. you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs> so, everyone, check out Barking Dogs and Motor Cars by Flying Carpets, and uh, we'll see you next time. See ya. Peace. Swept Media. Get swept up in today's independent music. Like they use fuck as a period. And it's all they need to transition like, to immediately whatever yeah. the fuck they're well, just, just like. Go, I'm just going jump. out to the fucking trail fuck. Like. Yeah, just going to the fucking trail fuck because you know fucking hunting out there. Everything's <laughs> fucking good and the weather's going to be fucking oh, nice babe, out there yeah. when we get it. You know, just fucking speaking, do you see the fucking storm out there fucking fucked up all those. Fuck, my buddy there had a fucking couple of barns, took the fucking roofs right off somebody else. Oh yeah, those fucking Fabrine barns, topic change. Oh fuck, don't make them out of that shit. If you're gonna fucking build a barn, bud, let me fucking tell you, I know some fucking guys. 
Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm glad at least I got that rip yep. recorded. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's recording? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to have the first one recorded, but I was, trying to, I was trying to get it set up, but I just couldn't in time, and then you started again, and I was like, done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun, fun. Oh, fun, I love fun. It. Yeah. Oh. Uh, just going out to the fucking campfire and just gonna oh, go fucking. Yeah, it's fucking deer season. Fuck it. I'm gonna go hide in some fucking deer by and holy fuck. Yep. And then when everybody runs off, it's, it runs you know, buddy and I were it's just, oh, uh, fuck. Mm-hmm. You know, buddy and I were out in the fucking hunting stand the other day. Fuck, oh, you yeah. should have seen the fucking deer over there. Holy shit. Oh, Big yeah. Big fucking fuck. buck, dude. Like, holy fuck, man. Oh, fuck. Lots of fucking deer out Yo, there. Yo, lots right? of fucking deer by it. Yeah. <laughs> <It's too laughs> just fun. going out my new fucking camo sweater. Fuck, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then there's the. It's got well, my got my fucking brown and hat on today, bud. Fuck. I love the I love the well fucking you know me, eh? Yeah, and then, you know and me, then, eh? And then immediately followed by whatever they think is cool. Well, you fucking know me, eh? I got my fucking boots. That's all I fucking need. I'll fucking go out there in shorts and don't give a fuck. Yeah. But I don't fucking mm-hmm. care. I don't care if it's fucking mm-hmm. thirty below. I'm fucking out there in shorts, gonna catch me fucking deer with my bare fucking hands. You know me. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Oh god, spent too much time talking to too many people. Oh dude, you and I both. <laughs> dude, you and I both. Oh man, it's great. Oh, so good.